Asha means hope in Hindi. This story is for her and the many wild elephants like her. This wild animal was forced to perform in the circus and give elephant rides to tourists. But the story has changed. For the past 10 years, Treadright and Red Carnation have been working to ensure that the impact the travel industry has on the world is a positive one. My name is Celine Cousteau, ambassador for the Treadright Foundation. I'm here at Wildlife SOS outside of Agra in India. I've traveled here to experience the work that Wildlife SOS is doing to end the mistreatment of elephants at the hand of travel and tourism. For tourists, elephants are beautiful and unique creatures. But what most travelers don't consider is that elephants are wild animals. They are meant to be free, yet so many are not. Today, we're exploring the issue that remains here in India, a land of beauty and color, a place that ignites the senses, where you can't help but fall in love with its magic. I've traveled here with four influential storytellers to have my own first elephant experience and to learn about the work Wildlife SOS is doing to help end the mistreatment of elephants at the hands of travel and tourism. I'd like to explain very briefly why travelers must refuse to ride elephants. Every single elephant that you see out there, and it might be a few minutes of joy for you to get on the back of an elephant, but it's a lifetime of a nightmare for that elephant. Every single elephant out there is taken from the wild, snatched away from its herd and its mother, and then they're tied up in a small kraal and beaten between six to eight months. And this animal will live as long as a human being will, in chains, every single day of its life. Basic, oh sorry, I get, I get choked up when I think of these elephants, so. Today is the first time I've interacted with rescued elephants. It's so good to see them here instead of out in the streets, what we've seen the last few days. Um, it's obviously like you can see some of them have been super traumatized or come from really heavy situations. And it, yeah, it makes me really, really happy to see that they're at a safe place now and they're being cared for, they're being looked after, and then they're in the best place possible. In the time that I've been coming to India, I have seen a massive change in the way elephants are used. Now it's become very much a commercial thing. It's rides up to the Amber Fort, rides here, rides there. The elephants are all painted for photographs so that we can all be bohemian with elephants, all for the photo and all for the promise of the exoticism of Rajasthan. The job of good tourists is to do your homework, be informed. As tourists, we need to spend wisely, and we need to spend in a way that incentivizes the best wildlife practices. That is what Wildlife SOS is all about. If you know what these elephants have gone through in order to make them rideable, so you can have a few minutes of fun on top of an elephant bag, I promise you, you will swear to never ride an elephant because it's just not worth it. In 2015, Treadright and the entire Travel Corporation family of brands banned elephant riding across all of our trips and itineraries. Interacting with wild animals is an experience you'll never forget. But you have to ask, at what cost? As travelers, it's our responsibility to ensure that the wildlife experiences we choose to be a part of are both ethical and educational. Treadright helps travelers on this journey, providing them with the knowledge to make the right choice. Go to treadright.org to learn how to make your travel matter for wildlife.